Tinibu, I neck and Wolo showing up. Exposed by Kenneth Okonkwo, it will be won the election. Breaking news. Hello, guys, welcome back once again to this particular YouTube channel. You know, uh, over the, over many weeks now, Wolo Shoyinka, as a matter of fact, has been attacking P2B and the Labour Party and the Obedient as if, you know, uh, they, 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 they owe him anything or something like that. And it is quite pathetic. Instead of a noble laureate like him to be addressing the pressing issues we have in the country, how the independent uh, independent electoral body in the country, INEC, failed to live up to their promises and expectations and everything, how they embezzled taxpayers' money, billions of naira, to construct an IRF water that they didn't use. Wolo Shoyinka was busy dragging people to be unnecessarily. Instead of him to criticize the poor policies and the sufferings that uh, this present government has actually you know, put Nigerians into, he's busy criticizing P2B as if P2B and obedience are owing him or probably are responsible for whatever frustration that he's facing. But I love the way Kenneth Okonkwo actually exposed the relationship between this Tinibu, uh, this uh, Wolo Shoyeng uh, and uh, INEC and their failure and everything. I'm going to play the video for you to listen to all he said and how he actually, you know, uh, analyze this particular matter. And some people are out there being mouthpiece to a failed organization that could not even live up to the dictates of the law. They just brought up figures and announced to the whole world, shamefully, after months of such declaration, 18,088 uploaded results are still blurred, blank, and nothing, given by INEC. There is no court judgment that can overrule that, because we were given such things from the INEC IRF portal. So what we are saying is not about who won or lost. We are saying that election should be free, fair, and credible. Credible means believable. Justice should not only be done, it should be seen as done. Please, if you have seen the results, pulling in it by pulling in it, either based on original unmutilated from EC8A or electronically stored and uploaded results of INEC, pulling unit by pulling unit, in 176,000 units pulling unit in Nigeria. Please show me. And I will be willing to tell your line. You can't come to bamboozle Nigerians, a man who failed election in his own state, failed election in the FCT, couldn't get 25%. Failed election in the national chairman state, failed election in his DG campaign state, all those states that are visible or manipulable, he failed. And then you're coming to tell me to believe that he won. On what grounds? There is an organization that the constitution mandated to undertake, organize elections, and the law compelled them to update these results and show the world they failed until today, even after the election, they failed. So whoever is telling you that anybody won that election is a conjecture. And this is no matter what the court says, because statutory laws in our hierarchy of laws in Nigeria is superior to decided cases. And time has come when we should be holding the judiciary accountable to statutory laws. They do not have the right to make laws. The only right they have is to interpret it. I have given you a section of the law that compelled INEC, even at the risk of sending them to jail. And I'm telling you today, they have not given us the results. If you have seen the results, let me know. And as long as those results are hidden in shadows, not in substance, whatever is the result, whatever is the declaration by the court, you cannot convince anybody anywhere. So from the video you just watched, you could see what, uh, what uh, Kenneth Okonkwo is saying. That instead of people to be criticizing INEC after they fail to live up to the expectation, after even till this particular moment, INEC have not yet uploaded the, all the results to the RF portal. Apart from that, I next certified and gave Labour Party and P2B's legacy 18,088 pulling units results that we are blood, that we are unreadable and everything. And instead of the court and the election petition tribunal judges to question INEC why they 
why they used 18,000 plus something uh, polling unit results to announce Sinibar as the president of this particular country. They failed to do that. They didn't do that. That they decided to throw away P2B's evidences. Despite that this particular 18,000 polling unit results came from INEC and they certified it. It was quite pathetic. It is, it, it, it is quite pathetic. This is what Kenneth Okonkwo is saying. And Wolo Shoyinkan and a whole lot of people in this country are seeing this thing and how Tinibu rigged his way towards the election because there was no way, as a matter of fact, INEC used to authenticate Tinibu's uh, result, probably the 8 point something million they gave to Tinibu. He didn't get up to that. INEC just allocated those number of votes to Tinibu. We all know the truth. They just allocated those votes to Tinibu because they could. They, they didn't make use of the IRF portal, which the law stipulates that before you collect any result, you have to authenticate the result by comparing the physical form EC8A you have with the result that has been uploaded onto the IRF portal. INEC did not do that. And instead of the judiciary to question them why they, why they didn't authenticate the result and how they arrived, even the European Union said till date that they, they don't even know how INEC arrived at the result they announced and the result they allocated to Tinibu. And that is why a lot of people are saying that there is nowhere in this country that you can prove that Tinibu won that particular election. If not for the rascality and the illegality that was committed by INEC, there is nowhere on earth or on this planet earth that, you, that anybody can prove and justify uh, uh, that Tinibu won that particular election. There is nowhere. Well, I thank God that some people are speaking through to power despite the corruption and the illegality we have in this particular country. We will see how the Supreme Court and the cases are in you know, food and how the Supreme Court justices will try to rule on this particular matter. Well, I guess you drop your comments in the comment section.